were massive there and in Louisville as well. In fact, in Louisville, a group of people spent the afternoon together watching the Pope's Mass. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan is outside of the Cathedral of the Assumption with more on this. Carolyn? Well, the Pope's visit to the U.S. was just described to me as the Super Bowl for Catholics. And inside of the church behind me, members of the Sarah Club of Louisville are in there watching all of the events together. Now, this is a big moment to see Pope Francis in the United States, even if he is hundreds of miles away from Louisville. He's been called the People's Pope. And here at the viewing party, the folks say they love how accessible and likable Pope Francis is. Makes you feel like uh, part of the family and so on. So it's, it's really been good for Catholics. There isn't any other story that's trumping the Pope's arrival, which is wonderfully refreshing that so much coverage is, is on Pope Francis. And even to go to any magazine rack, you see him on the cover of all the magazines. How beautiful. And another big reason that the members of the Sarah Club of Louisville are so excited for this Mass is that Junipero Serra is being canonized, becoming a saint, and as we mentioned a few minutes ago, the first canonization on U.S. soil. Reporting live in Louisville, Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News. Thank you, Carolyn. Louisville's mayor was in the crowd as Pope Francis arrived at the White House. Mayor Greg Fisher was one of more than a dozen mayors invited to attend the historic papal visit. He commented and talked about the pomp and the circumstance, saying it was a state visit like none other. When you're with a crowd that's so big like that and it's silent, people waiting in anticipation for him to show up. Uh, I guess he showed up a little bit late, so uh, you can see that there was people just wanted to kind of experience the aura of Pope Francis. And, I mean, there's, and, it's, and then he rolls up in his fiat. Mayor Fisher believes his work to make Louisville a city known internationally for compassion and humility helped him in his bid to see the pontiff. Well, today's canonization mass is the last scheduled event for the Pope today. Tomorrow, as Craig Boswell mentioned, he is scheduled to give a speech before Congress, and that's at 10 in the morning. CBS News will bring that to you live. He leaves for New York tomorrow afternoon. He'll hold a prayer service at St. Patrick's tomorrow night. He's scheduled to address the United Nations General Assembly on Friday morning. CBS News will also carry that live. We have much more coverage for you on the Pope's visit to the United States. Just go to our website.